guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of Love Live Nichigasaki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Fucking girlfriends, I can't. Like, oh my god. Why'd you be Satsuna? Oh. Oh, when she stole. Oh. I thought it would have been awkward. No, 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 no. Don't be sorry about that. That's your true feeling, Sorcerer. Oh my god. Oh, I am oh my god, she gonna make me cry. Stop it. God, we ain't even into the episode that much and I'm about to be a mess because of these two. Oh god, this child. I'm about to cry, oh my god. Okay. I thought it was going to be hella awkward than that was. That wasn't as awkward as I thought it was going to be. But I was expecting like. Ayamu was not going to wait for her number one. And that the next time that they would have saw each other was going to be at school. And Ayamu or you or both would have done like everything they could in their fight to avoid each other. Who knows? I mean. In a way they're both upset with each other. Ayamu is upset because she feels like. Setsuna is just <laughs> moving in on her territory and marking her woman. <laughs> and you is that misunderstanding. And the only way they're going to be able to solve this is to not only talk it out, but something tells me either Ayamu is going to be singing again or... Freaking Yuchan singer, you know, her say you. She gonna sing a song and then I'm gonna be like, yes, like that's what I needed. Please, like, I, I, I just, we need that. I need that. Like, I get the fact is that you is heavily into this, but I don't, oh God, do I want to say it's like affecting, well, it, it is, it's affecting her relationship with Ayamu and girlfriends, my gay children, I love them so much. You? Hmm. See, she's sitting there thinking about it. Oh my And of course, I am was thinking about her. They so, they so in love. Like, oh my god. So in love, lovers. Oh my god.
No. My Rina Chiyagi baby. Well, everybody needs help. Check. Say by the bell. Bye. There you go. <laughs> ah, you look up extra in the dictionary and Kasumi right there. I'm, I love her so much. Even though she is not my number one fave, you still gotta love her. <laughs> well, you know, her and Nico are fighting for extra. The title of extra. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it is. <laughs> yes, here you go. Cessna, read that room. <laughs> Speaking of which, go, go talk to her. Embrace something, I don't know, kiss. <laughs> Yes, you can, You know what this kind of reminds me of? In a relationship when one person is very, very supportive of the other and when it's time for the person who supported the other person to finally have their own time to shine, 
the person who has been supported for such a long time doesn't really support the other person. And I'm not saying that Ayamu doesn't want to support Yu's dreams. It seems like that a little bit by the way, you know, Ayamu's body language and the way she was portraying it and such. But I mean, who knows? I just think they, they need to talk it out a little bit more. And in the end, they're both going to come together and they're going to both support each other no matter what their dreams are and what they want to do. And no matter what, you is always going to be telling Ayamu everything first because that is her girlfriend. Because you tell your girlfriend first and then you tell your family. Well, no, no, you know what? No, they're married. I'm sorry. Like, You're not going to send that, are you? You go see her. Finally, thank God she's going to talk to her. She needs a little guidance with her girlfriend before she goes talk to her wife. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is it me you are looking for? Really? Because you said that to you yesterday or last week. But she's still watching you. Damn, Setsuna literally is about to become second best girl for me. Here she comes. Oh. 
Wife, <laughs> her wife. Really, Cody, you go bark at that? M A R R I E D married <laughs> Mary <laughs> I'm just done. This is like, Jesus. This is probably the most emotional episode. Probably, no. 
the third emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I cried like a freaking best girls episode, and then she's goose episode, and now this. Like, mm. am mm. I gonna cry next week? Probably. Married. Just, that's it. M-A-R-R-I-E-D. Married. At 5.26 at night. Evening. No, no. Married. To, when did episode one air in October? Like, probably a couple of weeks before my birthday. So, the 18th for me in October. So, like, what? October 3rd? Whatever day. Mm-hmm. That's how long they've been married for. so cute like I can't it would have been nice as much as I love the second Ayamu performance I really would have thought it would have been better if Yuchan was the one who sang she's the only seiyuu of this group even though technically she's not a part of this group but her seiyuu was a singer and they could have been like nice and they could have said hey you know here's one one song that you can sing for this show and I would have been like yes Everybody officially has sang a song, you know, but it's okay. It's all right. I ain't bad. I ain't bitter. But still, this is a good, it was a good song. This is a good part two of last week's episode. I'm glad that they made up, like, they like girlfriend. They know they're not even girlfriends. They wives. They are wives. We all know that you is wearing the pants. In this relationship. Come on now. I mean, I can't. They're so cute. I'm so happy. Like, oh, God. I really thought they were going to possibly stretch this out and make it into a three-parter. And that they weren't going to really settle their differences until next week for the finale. But even them making the stage for Ayamu was so pretty. I wonder how they're going to do next week, though. I mean, are they going to have, like... <laughs> A music video where, like, everybody's performing their song and they're just going to, like, I don't know. It, it could be anything that they do next week. Oh, is she going to Oh. It's pretty. Something tells me that's the song. That's the opening song. It's cute. Babies, that's adorable. Oh my God, he's so cute. They like married, 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 married. M A R I R I E D. Married. <laughs> okay, so let me continuously talk about this. I, I, I don't really know how in the world they're gonna end this last episode and really for this season. Of course, number one, we're gonna get a second season. I, I figure because the other two have gotten season twos and a movie so I'm guessing we're possibly going to get that as well with it um but yeah I, I think this for for an episode that went into another ship a couple really damn like I, I don't know which one was better this between the this two-parter episode or just Emma and Cotting's episode and such. I mean, oh, uh, they're both good on their own, but like, I, I don't think I could compare and contrast between the two because just like they're just too damn good, and they just make you feel, and you're just like, oh my god, like I can't with these two. They're just so fucking cute. But however this ends, I think the biggest thing that I would like to see next week, 
and I think a lot of people kind of want this as well. I, I'll, I'll never forget when I did a reaction to Love Live um, Sunshine Season 1 and how both Ruby and Daya were freaking out about Nozomine because they were going to go to the school, um, to Otonoki Zaka High. And I was thinking, oh, snap, we might see, like, best girl Nozomine again in this and stuff. That's kind of what I want for this final episode, to see Aqua and Muse at least make an appearance or something. I get it if you can't do it. I, I understand that. I won't even be pissed about it if, we, if you know, it happens. That's just going to be me prepping myself up for next Saturday. But whatever happens, happens. They're going to leave this on an open, uh, uh, an open ending to see how or what's going to play out. And then eventually maybe about two, three years down the line. So 20, either 2022 or 2023 is probably when we'll get season two. And then a year later, so 23, 24 is probably when we'll get the movie. That's just a little guess I have right now. But yeah, this was a really good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Love Live New Kasaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the final episode. Bye, guys.